Good morning, Aries. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not fully awake yet? Um, so you guys are must be going through it, and I know my Aries are going through it. I did, you know, I uploaded the video yesterday, or the, was it the day before? I'm not fully awake yet, guys. Um, and I know it's been tumultuous for you guys. I know someone's going through, at least a few of you are going through some major, major relationship shifts that are quite painful, and it seems like whoever's been in those relationships, it's been a rough ride anyway for a long time and I know that could be hard to deal with I woke up this morning and all I, and my guides literally kept like giving me Aries 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 and I was like why 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 are they pushing me to 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 think about Aries or do like an Aries reading I don't know um and I was trying to wake myself up first and then they started like literally poking me and I'm like okay <laughs> I got it message received I have to do an Aries bonus reading right now um literally my guides are asking me to do it that's the only, that's the only reason I'm doing it i Otherwise, I would have waited till I'm more awake. I would have waited till I had my chance to do my yoga and all of that. Um, but they're, they're telling me to do it, like, right now, okay? Um, by the way, for those of you waiting on Cancer and Scorpio, um, I mentioned this in a couple of my videos. I've been having some weird tech issues. Um, that is what it is. Technology does not like me. <laughs> it does not like me. All my electronics act up all the time. All the time. And, like, even if I hand something over to someone else to fix it, all of a sudden it starts working. Uh, it's just how my energy is. It's an issue. <laughs> I know my. I know I have intense energy, and I know it messes with electronics. It's. It's also a family thing. There are some members of my family that are the same way. Um, can wear watches. It's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, so let's just get right into it, Aries. All right. So, um, well, that's right. I was talking about Cancer and Pisces. So Cancer and Pisces. Somehow the videos got corrupted. I don't know how, but they did. So I have to redo them. I'm so sorry, Cancer. Cancer and Pisces. Okay. All right. Let's shift over to Aries. Let's see, let's see what my guy, my guides wanted to do in another reading for you guys. I'm just going to keep it general. I'm not even going to focus on love. I'm not even going to focus on a timeline. I'm going to keep it really, really general because I don't know why they want me to do it, okay? Any messages for my Aries? Any messages for my Aries? Anything that they should know? Anything that spirit wants them to know? Aries, Aries, any messages for my Aries? Any messages for my Aries? Okay, let's get into it. General messages for Aries. Oh, wow, we already got a couple cards. <laughs> I can't even believe this. I don't know if it was the Aries look at your partner reading or the Aries weekly, but literally the same shit. This is the same shit. And I did... The, I did all the water readings after all the fire signs, so this got shuffled quite a bit. And look what came out. Aries. Oh my god. Alright, so if we're going down the same rabbit hole, the same story, clearly some people just need some more healing. Okay? We got King of Swords with the Queen of Swords in reverse. I know, usually I, I do my method and I am going to finish it, but let's just, let's, let's hang out here for a minute. Alright, Aquarius energy, Libra energy. Aries, Libra is your house of partnership. This is your partner. This is you. I, I cannot believe these exact exact same cards came out in this exact position. After all that shuffling, that's just in, that's intense. You guys are going through it. You guys are going through it. Your partner is really unhappy. They're not. I, I don't feel like they're talking to you. Um, if you guys are living in the same household, they they literally have either like oh some of them have moved out or they're about to move out. Others they're just giving you the cold shoulder, and you're you're. It's interesting because you're harnessing Aquarian energy, so you're actually not even being that confrontational with them. You're not really being very Aries-like. You're taking on that Aquarius approach. And Aquarius is, um, they actually really don't like conflict. They don't. Um, they really don't like it. Unless they're they're really pushed into um, a very, like, negative situation, or if they feel really disrespected or someone's really up in their face, they'll, you know, they'll defend themselves. But they don't like confrontation. So if you're giving the Aries the cold shoulder, <laughs> they're just like, all right. <laughs> if that's what they need, that's what they need. But that's a true pair as well, guys. So this is soulmate energy. But I, I got to tell you, your your partner or whoever you're dealing with, Air, um, Aries, they're not happy. They're really not happy. And um, it's not even anger. They're frustrated with you. But if anything, they're just... There's like a weird sorrow component. Not a weird sorrow component. Sorry. Like I said, I'm tired. There's a sorrow component to them. 
And I feel like they're like, they're slowly pulling their energy away. It's like they've already been pulling it away, but it's like they keep trying to drag it further and further and further, but slowly, almost like so you don't notice. All right, let's finish up. Let's finish up and see what other cards we get. Any messages for Aries? Anything you'd want Aries to know? That one flew out. Oh, sun in reverse. Leo energy. Oh, Jesus. This is a mutual, both of you. It's like, both of you really, really want to be happy, but it's just like, it just, it just feels like it's not attainable at this moment. It feels like it's really out of reach in this relationship. I got to be honest with how, I, with how I feel it. Any message? Out of balance. Out of balance. Majorly out of balance. Now I just got Ace of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. This could also be um, Pisces or Scorpio with Ace of Wands in reverse. Wanting a new beginning. Aries, I feel like this is... I feel like this is your wants. I feel like this is your desire. And this is how you're seeing your partner. You're seeing them as somebody who is very nurturing. Very, very maternal. Um, some of you have children with her. Or him. Or him. It could be him. Um, I just say her because it's like it is a female in the card. It's feminine energy. Um, but also, I, I get very distinctly, like, you know, for most of you who have children with this person, you see them as a mother type. You see them as somebody who's very capable of taking care of a family. Um... And you want you want to you want a change in this relationship here. Any messages for my Aries? Yeah, this is all about love. And then two of swords in reverse. Indecision. Oh, oh. There is indecision on part of your partner, but I feel like I feel like someone just made a choice. Maybe that's why I, my guys want me want me to do the reading. Maybe they finally just made a choice and. I don't know if they've told you or haven't told you. Some of them have are, have just made the decision. Any messages for my Aries? <clears throat> Any messages for my Aries? Anything you want them to know regarding this spread? Any messages for my Aries? Oh, wow. We got two more cards. Hold on. I'm almost... Oop, three. Okay. <laughs> all right so then we got <clears throat> eight of wands with judgment this is communicating about reconciliation this is let let's this is let's work it out let's work it out let's work it out and there's a lot of communication and a lot of progress as well um i'm also getting ideas like i feel like there is a conversation to be had regarding reconciliation um if you're married it's like you know hey let's just work through this if you're in separation hey let's let's come back together um yeah, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of talking, but I feel like there's a lot of ideas and strategizing back and forth on how to make this reconciliation work. And then we have these two cards. Ooh. Mm. Hermit in reverse with the page of swords in reverse. Uh, I do not like this energy. Virgo energy with the liar card. My lying card. Dishonesty. Whoever was in the hermit mode, I feel like it was your partner because they're the ones who I feel like are, have been pulling their energy away. They're coming out and either tell, or either either telling you lies or addressing lies. Okay, so those are all the cards that we had to come out. Came out. Overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles. This is your partner. I'll tell you this right now. This is not your energy. This is your partner's energy. Um, Capricorn energy could also be Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, no, I know, I know, I know. They've, they, they've come to realize something. It's almost like their intuition's been halted up until this point, and now they have it. Now they have it. That's why I feel like some of them have, have suddenly made a decision after struggling to make a decision. They know. They know what they want to do. Or they know what they need. They just, they know. Ooh, okay. All right, so let's get into it. So we've gone over this pair. We've gone over this pair a little bit. Um, I'm actually not really interested so much in this. I'm more interested in, in actually what's about to play out. This so much is, is kind of like how things have been up until this point that your partner has been kind of pulling their energy away from you, even if you're living together and you're just kind of like, OK, like if they need space, they need space is kind of what I'm getting. Um, you're just you're, you're, not, you're not fighting them. You're not fighting them on it. Sun in reverse. Let's clarify this. This is again, I really feel like it's happiness is tangible it's like it's right there but you can't grasp it in this situation for some reason so let's take a look 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Clarify the sun and reverse. And then after this, I will redo the Cancer and Pisces videos. I cannot believe those got corrupted. Um, everything happens for a reason, so I'm just rolling with it. But I'm sorry that, you know, those are a little later than they should have been. Clarify the sun and reverse. Clarify the sun in reverse for Aries. Clarify the sun in reverse. Ooh, wait. For Aries. Uh, clarify the sun in reverse for Aries. Clarify 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 sun in reverse for Aries. Oh, oh, okay. Overall energy for sun in reverse. We have six of swords in reverse. Yeah, unable to get there. Unable to get the happiness. So I've already been sensing that. Unable to get it. Trying to figure out how to get it. Can't get it. Um, and then to clarify the sun in reverse, queen of pentacles in reverse, your, your partner. But I gotta be honest, guys. This is like, and I was sensing this in your readings for the last couple weeks. This is about disloyalty. I'm sorry. I, 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 felt, I felt something behind me. Ooh, I got the chills. Okay, queen of pentacles in reverse. Again, Capricorn energy could also be Virgo, Taurus, or um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, but it is disloyalty, like hands down all day. Wow, I've got like intense chills all of a sudden. I feel like someone's standing right over me. Um, yeah, disloyalty. Disloyalty. Uh, and I feel like it's shared, to be honest. But Aries, I feel like you see your partner as someone who's not investing in the relationship. Like in that way, they're not being loyal because they've pulled their energy away. Um, <clears throat> I'm They're... Sorry, there is someone standing right behind me. I'm trying to figure out what they're up to. Okay, it's okay. It's actually, I don't know if any of you um, who are, whoever's resonating with this, there's at least one of you who's Native American or has Native American. Um, and I don't mean just like a 5% Native American. I mean, like you're probably half or, or whole, uh, half or whole. <laughs> That was a weird way to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, I'm tired. I don't got all my words with me. You're either like half or more, if that makes any sense. Like you have a significant amount of Native American blood or Native American heritage um, attached to you. And it's someone who's looking out for you. They're actually like right behind me. Um, it's not in a malice way. Like They're just, it's a, it's a protection thing. It's a protection thing. I don't know what tribe you're from. I don't know what tribe you're from. I'm trying to pinpoint it. I can't pinpoint the tribe. Um, I feel like it's actually multiple tribes, to be honest. I don't feel like it's just one. But there is someone um, who watches over you, significantly watches over you. It's and it's part of it's part of the bloodline. Um, and they're just their energy is really strong, and they're just they're, they're just here to to just you know to watch, observe, protect. Like it's not a it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Anyway, moving on. So like I said, disloyalty. Aries, you feel like your your partner has pulled their energy away and that in that way they're disloyal and then you're they're you also kind of sense that something's up. You're sensing that something's up with them. Uh and Aries, I gotta be honest, it feels like your partner doesn't feel like you've been very loyal to them either. So there's almost excuse me, like this mutual disloyalty kind of going back and forth here, um, between the two of you. And both of you want happiness, but you both of you are like, we can't figure out how to get this shit. So let's move on. To this Ace of Wands in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, I feel like there's a new beginning that you want with your partner because you see them as someone who's very nurturing and very motherly at the end of the day, but it's just not happening. So let's look at the Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, I'm going to use the Vice Versa deck, actually, for that. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, whoever's resonating with the, with the individual who's right behind me, they're, uh, it's very, they're a male. 
older male clarify a salons in reverse um but i uh this is they're from a when when they were in the 3d it was a hell of a long time ago i don't even think you you actually met them in the 3d um clarify a salons in reverse i'm almost feeling like they're a guide of yours but they're attached to your bloodline clarify a salons in reverse okay Clarify your salons in reverse. They're tall. They're really tall. Or they're presenting themselves as being really tall. Clarify your salons in reverse. Clarify your salons in reverse. Clarify your salons in reverse. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. I actually, whoever this is, I actually really like their energy. They're just, they're, they're, they're just staying quiet. They're like literally not saying anything. They're just standing, observing, protecting. It's interesting. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. But they, it's like I, I wouldn't have sensed them if they didn't um, want me to know that they're there. So I think that they're making their presence known because they want me to tell you that they're here for you. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. But I'm telling you, you've never met this person in 3D. Never. Clarify Ace of Wands in reverse. All right. Overall energy. Six of Swords again. Um, whoa. Wait a minute. All right. Gotta be honest, Aries. Overall energy, this particular Six of Swords, this is this is someone heading out. This is someone leaving with their love, with hope towards peace and a better um a better future, a better chapter in their life. And I feel like this is your partner's energy. They're trying to get away. I gotta be honest. They're trying to get away. And you see what she's holding? I don't know if I thought it'll focus or not. Um, she's holding an ace of cups. She's taken her love with her. That's what. That's why this new beginning can't happen. And then to clarify it, we have strength, Leo energy. Um, this is for both of you. Your partner is finding the strength to to leave, um, to do what's best for them. Um, but she, you know, she found the strength to do it. Or he doesn't have to be she. They found the strength to do it. Uh, and this is also calling for you to have strength for them to leave have the strength to let them go. And I love that this is here because if this is, I think this actually came out in the reading in your guys' reading last for this last week. Um, this side, this is like fa facing down like the terrible things about yourself to get the strength you need to do what you have to do. This says, I have the strength to do what I got to do. I can do this. Oof. All right. Let's look at this two of swords. Like I said, I was feeling indecision, but I feel like some of your partners have actually, they were in indecision period and now they're like i've made the choice Eey, okay all right using the vice versa deck let's see what this is about clarify two of swords in reverse <clears throat> for aries clarify two of swords in reverse 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 for Aries. <clears throat> Clarify two of swords in reverse for Aries. Clarify two of swords in reverse for Aries. Hold on. Can I get those two? All right. Clarify. All right, we got four cards so far. Clarify two of swords in reverse. For Aries. Clarify two of swords in reverse 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 for Aries. 
Clarify two of swords in reverse for Aries. Wow, your partner keeps coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. Um, I think you, you think of them as a really amazing spouse. Um, but yeah, there's still this theme of like, you feel like they're disloyal to you in some way, shape, or form. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We got five cards. Overall energy, nine of cups. Making a decision about the heart's desire. Making a decision about um, ultimate wishes. Ultimate wishes, ultimate desires, ultimate dreams. Oh, yeah, this is your partner. Your partner is making this decision, not you. Okay, so five cards. The first two that came out together. We have the Three of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. So this is this is a very interesting side of the Three of Wands in this deck. This is basically saying you know something, you're, and this is all for your partner's energy. Your partner knows that something's coming, but they don't feel quite ready. It's almost like, I know it's coming my way, but they can't exactly see it right. All they see is a horizon. And it's like, am I ready for this? I know it's coming my way, but am I ready? Like, can I actually do this? And then Five of Pentacles, this is about separation and isolation. Um... And, very, and a lot of anguish, like you see, you see his like hands on his head. I mean, they're inside, they're not out in the cold, but it's like they found some kind of, not salvation, like, I don't know, I'm getting camp, like, okay, maybe that's probably the best way to say it. Like, let's, you know, you know, those like war torn movies or um, movies where people are running from natural disasters. It's like, they're always on the go. It's like, they're always in danger. That's how this person has felt. Like, they're always trying to run to the next salvation point. And now they've made it to a salvation point, but they're sitting there waiting for that next big thing because they know something big is coming. And they're like, can I actually, can I do this? Am I, am I ready? Am I ready? That's just what I keep getting. Am I ready for this? Because they know that they're about to get their wish. I feel it. They know they're about to get their wish. They just feel like, okay, I've reached another stable point here, but I don't feel happy. I don't feel like I'm abundant. I mean, it's still the Five of Pentacles. This is still like I'm lacking. I'm lacking a lot. And what I need is coming, but am I ready for this? That's what they're telling themselves. And then the, these next two came out. Queen of Pentacles. This is the third Queen of Pentacles we have out here, by the way. Uh, Capricorn Energy. You can be the straight up Cap. <clears throat> Capricorn Energy could also be Virgo, Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the hangman, Piscean energy. Your partner's been stuck on this decision for a long time, stuck in indecision. The hangman is in this position. This is hanging in, hanging out there too long. This side is the universe is hung you up. You're kind of stuck and that's okay because you need to be stuck. This is, okay, you can get yourself out of this now. <laughs> you can go and get what you want. If you really want it, you, you can do it. But... You see their hands aren't even tied and there's two people right there who can help them down if they really need it. Um, two people. Your partner might be deciding between you and another person. Um, anyway, yeah, they know how to get themselves out of it. They just, they're hanging in there way too long. Um, and with this decision, they're, they're only able to make this decision after being in a hangman position to get that epiphany that they need to get in order to make this decision to get that last piece of information or realization for themselves to feel comfortable making this decision all right then we get the seven of swords old past old past bad deeds revisiting the scene of the crime this side is i'm trying to get away with something actively this is i got away with it i got away with it let's look at the seven of swords let's see what this deception's about and then we'll look at um, into these two and then these two, okay? I feel like both of those energies, this, this energy and this energy is happening at the same time, Aries. I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is your partner's energy. All right, so we're going to go over those together. But let's look at the Seven of Swords first. Oh, my light's gone. <laughs> it's like, oh, a cloud. Clarify Seven of Swords. Is it getting too dark? Oh, actually, it's staying pretty light. Clarify Seven of Swords. For my Aries. And actually, normally I'd pull romance angel cards, but I think you guys need some advice. So I'm going to pull advice for you and advice for your partner, for both of you separately um, from the Shaman deck. Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords for my Aries. Clarify Seven of Swords for my Aries. 
So this is the same story for the last couple weeks, but it seems like because a decision has been made for a good majority of you on the behalf of your partner, things have now shifted. Things are now in, in motion. Things are now progressing towards, I gotta be honest, it feels like it's progressing towards a split. Clarify Seven of Swords. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is their energy. Clarify Seven of Swords. Wow. Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords for Aries. Remember, this could always be vice versa, too. If Aries, if you're the one who's trying to leave. Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords. <laughs> seven of Swords. Clarify Seven of Swords. <laughs> Clarify Seven of Swords. Okay. Wow. Okay. Overall energy. Justice. Libra energy. Whatever this was that your partner got away with, I gotta be honest, since justice is out here, um, it's saying that this this was supposed to happen. This is what's balancing out the scales, which tells me if they're getting away with something in a negative way, and that's what's balancing out the scales, that it's a good possibility that they've been through a lot of shit in this relationship on behalf of you, Aries, and no judgment. No judgment. I just look like I see it. Don't get mad at me. I know in the other video, my Aries were mad at me, but you can't get mad at me. I'm just, I'm just being honest. And I know sometimes the, the truth really can hurt. I know. But my guides asked me to do this bonus reading for a reason. I think you guys need to hear this. And I think this is why. Don't try to not hear this if this is your story. Okay? There are lessons to be learned for both of you in this situation. And then to clarify, we have Ace of Pentacles with Seven of Swords again. A new beginning, a new opportunity. That was my own damn fault. Sorry, guys. Now it's going to take a couple more hours to get this uploaded. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so my own fault. Sorry, my bad. So they're seizing a new opportunity again with the Seven of Swords. It's like it's very sneaky behavior, but they're seizing it. They're seizing it. Um, I also wow. I also see um, that Aries, you've also gotten away with something in the past. And your partner's getting justice by being just as sneaky and getting their new opportunity. Just being honest. Wow. All right, let's... Where are we at? I, I couldn't see what we're, where we were before. I think it was at like 20 minute mark. All right, really quickly, we'll look at this new opportunity and then we'll look into the other cards that I showed you guys. Clarify Ace of Pentacles for Aries. 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 Ooh, clarify Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Getting competition. Tell me about Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest. I feel like both of you have done some cheating. I think both of you have. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. Clarify Ace of Pentacles for Aries. Okay. Wow. Overall energy. Death in reverse. Underneath that, we have Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's going through a change towards singlehood. I gotta be honest. It's like, that's why death in reverse is here. That's what's around this new opportunity. Something's died so that they can grasp something new in their life. Okay? And I gotta be honest, I feel like it's this relationship. So, let's see the cards that came out. We have five in total. The first two, Eight of Wands with Five of, five of Wands in reverse. They're, they're gonna... Then this new opportunity... It feels like in their process of grasping it, I feel like this is talking to you. I feel I feel like they're going to communicate to you about some um, competition in the past. I feel like they feel that they've had to compete for you a lot. Um, 
and that's what they're talking about with you while they're heading out <laughs> quite literally it's like this conversation is going to take place as they're heading out um some for a couple of you it's going to be dramatic like they're literally going to be sneaking away and then you're going to catch them sneaking away like physically sneaking away and then you're this conversation is going to break out and they're going to be like well this is why i'm leaving um this is why i'm leaving <clears throat> there's also about fighting they're done with the fighting they want to move past it they want to move past this petty competition rivalry situation they have with you and that's why they're they're trying to seize an opportunity with them by themselves or with another person just a new opportunity a new chapter that's away from this situation all right then we have these three cards that came out star card aquarius energy with the nine of wands in reverse with the two of swords <sighs> they're going to tell you that making this decision was really hard for them they felt like they didn't have the strength to make this decision even though it was their wish come true, even though it was like their ultimate desire, their ultimate goal, the ultimate thing that would make them happy and put them on their right path. They felt like they didn't have the strength to make this decision. But I'm telling you, they made it. They made this decision, even though they didn't have the strength, because in between then and now, they found it. <clears throat> okay, now let's look into these other four cards. Uh, we'll look into your energy first, Aries, because this is definitely what you're wanting. And I feel like you're communicating to them like, hey, Let's cut, talk about this reconciliation and getting back together while they're talking to you about feeling like they're tired of competing for you. Oh, okay. So let's address this. Let's look at, let's look at the eight of wands because I feel like that's going to be more about what you're actually telling them. And I know it's about a reconciliation. That's why judgment's here. Um, but I want to see how this conversation's playing out on your end. <clears throat> Clarify eight of swords. There's a lot of travel cards here too, guys, which just tells me like movement, movement, movement. We have six of swords twice, and now we have eight of wands twice. Clarify eight of wands. So I don't know if like, if maybe they actually went away on a trip and they've come back and now they're they're leaving. <laughs> Something like that. And that could be happening for a couple of you. Clarify eight of wands. Clarify eight of wands for Aries. 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 Okay. <sighs> Clarify Eight of Wands for Aries. This is getting sad. I'm sorry, guys. Clarify Eight of Wands for Aries. It's making me sad. I'm trying, I'm trying to protect my energy. Clarify Eight of Wands for Aries. Yeah, you really want a new beginning with them. Clarify Eight of Wands for Aries. Clarify Eight of Wands for Aries. Clarify Eight of Wands for Aries. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, overall energy. Uh, King of Cups for this Eight of Wands. So... Aries, I gotta be honest, you're taking on this energy, but this is, I'll be, if you want to have this conversation and reconciliation, this is not the best energy to have. I'm just being honest with you. This is Scorpio energy. It could also be Cancer, or Pisces, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is emotionally unavailable king. And you're already coming in as the king of swords, which is already pretty emotionally unavailable. <laughs> and now it's like king of cups is emotionally unavailable. You... You want them and you're trying to show emotion and you have another emotion card to clarify, but it's not enough. I, I got to be honest with you. It's not enough. And I think this person knows that. And maybe, you know, and like I'm saying, even though you're soulmates, this just might not be a good situation for either of you to stay in. Because if this is all you can give them, which if that's just who you are, that's who you are. But if that's all you can give them, it's not enough for them. It's not. And I guess, as I said, if this is who you are, then it is what it is. And it is time to walk away. So then we have three cards coming out. Um, the first two, Page of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be Capricorn, Taurus, or um, 
Aries, Leo Sag, I feel like you're trying to show emotion, like you're almost trying to say sorry and like say like, hey, you know, we can do this. Like, come on, you know, I care. But again, it's not enough emotion for them. I'm just, I'm not saying like in general, I'm just saying for them, it's not enough for them to stay. Um, and I really feel like you're going to realize that and you're going to find your stability and abundance elsewhere. Because I think you recognize that. And then we have three of pentacles. This is the other side. This side of the camp in your reading. You see that there's only one person there. Multiple people over here. This is working with somebody to build something. This is, I want to build something, but I don't have anyone to build it with. I want to build something. But I think you're realizing that it's not enough for your partner to stay. Whatever it is that you're telling them or offering them, it's not enough for them. All right. So let's look here. This is your partner's energy. I think this is the same conversation. You're coming into this conversation with that energy. They're coming into this conversation with this energy. Um, coming out of being MIA, coming out of giving you the cold shoulder, you know, coming back out of withdrawing their energy. But this is about lies. So let's let's look at the lies and see what's going on with that. Okay. Clarify page of swords in reverse. Your partner has a lot of earth energy. I'm not sure what their sign is, but they're coming through with having a lot of a lot of earth and water energy. Clarif clarify page of swords in reverse. Clarify page of swords in reverse. Clarify page of swords in reverse for Aries. 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 Oh, okay. So we got two cards out so far. Clarify page of swords in reverse for Aries. Clarify page of swords in reverse for Aries. Clarify page of swords, page of swords in reverse for Aries. Okay. Mm. Let me see what we got here. Wow. Over energy for the lies. Five of cups. Your partner is going to come in and they're going to say, look, I know all the lies you've told me about in the past. We've been lying to each other. We've been lying to ourselves. It's time to mourn. It's time to put this away. It's time to just accept, accept the loss and move on. Mm. And both your energies are here. <clears throat> we have four cards come out. This is your energy. This is their energy. So they're going to say it's time to let this go. And they're going to tell you, Aries, this is the Emperor card. This is your energy. Aries energy could also be Taurus. Um, could be You could have run your own business, by the way. You could. You very well could. Um you could have a little empire that you manage. But the Ace of Pentacles, this is a solo new beginning. This is together. This is a, um, um, a collaborative new beginning. This is solo. They're going to tell you it's time for you to, to fly solo. And then Queen of Cups, this is them. They already came through as the Queen of Cups. You already see them as the Queen of Cups. And they're going to say, <clears throat> I've been in confusion for way too long. I've, I do have options. And it's time that I seize one of them because I've been in this stagnant state too long. This other side is you're presented with options and, you know, you're going to, you're enjoying it. This is, oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. It's a lot of love, a lot of love, a lot of water energy. This is somebody who's also very intuitive. Um, they just got a lot of love in their heart, but they're tired of it too. And they're ready to make their decision. And they're telling you it's time to fly solo. Oh, geez. Okay, let's pull shaman cards as advice for both of you, and I'll do it separately. I'm actually going to start with your partner. I'm going to start with your partner. Advice for the partner of Aries. Advice for the partner of Aries in this situation. I'm going to deal with all the cards for them, and then for you, and then I'll read all the descriptions, okay? Any advice for the partner of Aries in this situation? 
Any advice for the partner of Aries in this situation? Any advice <clears throat> for the partner of Aries in this situation? Please only give me one card. I'll see how many cards they give me. I'll read them all no matter what, but sometimes they, you know, sometimes they'll only give me one. Show me the uh, advice for the partner of Aries in this situation. Please only give me one card. Advice for the partner of Aries in this situation. Please only give me one card. Oh, what was that? Whoa, the Time Master. I've never had this card come out. Wow, it's intense. It's intense. I like, I don't really know. I've never read the description for this card because there's a lot of cards in this deck and they're all very, they all the descriptions are very detailed and very particular. Um, but I just get the sense it's like they realize that this is all about the timing and that time is up on this chapter. But we'll see what it says. Any advice for the partner of Aries? Please only give me one card. I already have one, but, you know, we'll see what else comes out, if any comes out. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Advice for the partner of Aries in this situation. Advice for the partner of Aries in this situation. Advice for the partner of Aries in this situation. Okay, they get three cards. Wow, with the overall energy of the rattle, number 43, 7. Taking a new path, being called on a new path. The rattle is all about being called, uh, being beckoned, being beckoned in a new direction. Um, and I won't read it to you because I read this one a lot. <laughs> I read this one a lot, and I'm telling you that's exactly what this is, especially in this scenario. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, they're being called in a, in a new direction. That's what the rattle is. It's calling. It's calling. It's making the noise. It's like, hey, chanting. It's it's calling. It's beckoning. Ooh. Well, I'll, I'll leave that here, though, just so I can look at it while we read your partner's cards. Okay, so those are their cards. They have the Time Master, the Gatherer, which is very much like a Divine Feminine energy as well. Hold on a second. And then the Middle World. All right, so that's those are all their cards. But then I'm going to pull your cards, and then we'll go over everything, okay? Advice for Aries in this situation. 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 Please only give me one card. Any advice for Aries in this situation? Please only give me one card. Advice for Aries in this situation? Please only give me one card. Advice for Aries? Oh. Wow, and you guys have lower world. Advice for Aries in this situation? I almost feel like the advice is going to be seeking out counsel, to be honest with you. I don't know why I feel that way, but I, I do. Clara, um, advice for Aries in this situation? Because with the lower world, I mean, that is a place you go. <laughs> that is a place to go um, to get guidance, to um, in, in, encounter your power animal, um, for advice and guidance. Any advice for Aries in this situation? 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 Oh my god, and then you have upper world. So yeah, this upper world is where you go um, to seek out your guides. Whoa. Aries, this is going to be really hard for you. I'm like, I feel it. Some of you, your heart's breaking. Because <sighs> we got my twin flame card out here. I just got to be honest with you. This could be a twin. This could very well be a twin. Um, wow. Sorry. It just, it got really intense for, for a minute for me. Okay. So let's pull the book out and I'll read you guys the descriptions. Even if I know the cards, I like to read the descriptions for advice cards because sometimes like a sentence or a key statement will jump out for people and really resonate with people in the way that it's worded. So uh, I'm going to stick with it that way. So like I said, let's go over your partner first. Advice for the partner varies. Over energy, they have the rattle. Like I said, this is being called, being beckoned in a new direction. The first card they have is Time Master. What number is that? 
Uh, 57. Time Master breaking down to a 3. Alright. <clears throat> 57, 57. Okay, here it is. Oh gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of info. Time is a construct of the human mind through which life events are seen to flow into a straight line from past to future. This, however, is an illusion. Time moves in patterns, fractals, sometimes turning like a wheel and others moving straight as an arrow. Humans see time like a ticking clock, and this image reminds us that there is only so much of it to spend in a life. Life, a kind of, is, a, life is like a kind of currency. At any given moment, you can see time in all its infinite potential. At, one, at once vast and all-encompassing, then shrunken and finite. It all depends on your perspective. When the Time Master visits, visits you, he asks an important question. Will you break free from limited cause and effect thinking by moving beyond the linear illusion and welcoming the cyclic, cyclic quality of time? Sorry, I'm not the greatest out loud reader. <laughs> you find yourself in a moment when the wheel of time turns and you're able to influence the past, thus changing the present and future simultaneously. This is the true test of the time master. You're being invited to take back your power. So let go of the past and choose to step into your life. In this moment, you are all powerful. You are the time master. Anything is possible now. Sometimes it appears that you're running out of time. You worry you won't get what you need or want. Everything gets stuck in a log jam. This is only in your mind. Time expands and contracts according to your ability to be mindful and observant. Fully engaged in your now, it's time to release the story of your past. Equally, it's time to release your need to know the details of the future. All the treasure magically reveals itself when you remain relaxed and present to what is directly in front of you and nothing else. Then you realize you have all the time in the world. You will never run out of it. Whew. So yeah, this is about timing for them. This is about leaving the past behind and, and embracing the new. In the, and it's all about now. Like now, now, now. <clears throat> okay, the gatherer. Alright, let's see. That. that also breaks down to a three, guys. So we got two threes here. By the way, two threes. Um, very divine energy. You might even be saying 3-3 three, three, or 3-3-3 three, three, three a lot for the partner of Aries. I mean, that's basically the divine is calling your ass. The divine is saying, hey, Get your ass up. It's time for some change. <laughs> Pay attention is what they're basically saying. Before we cultivated grains, we collected the wild bounty of nature. The gatherer finds abundant seeds, nuts, berries, and wild greens where the ordinary person sees, uh, sees only barren soil. The gatherer is the provider, the forager, and the gardener who collects roots and vegetables for the long winter when game is scar scar uh, scarce. I know that word. <laughs> she does not bo uh, hoard, trusting the bounty around her. Look at the resources you already have close at hand. This is a time of abundance. Everything around you is ripe and ready for harvest. Banish the notions of scarcity that have limited your choices and colored your destiny. Pack your food for the winter and start, the, start with the low-hanging fruit that is all around you. Do not wander too far afield and search for what spirit has already provided. Practice paying it forward, being thankful in advance of, of receiving. If you are in a scarcity mindset, open your heart to look beyond current uh, conditions and you will find the bounty being offered to you. Practice sharing, not hoarding. Yeah, I feel like this is basically advice to your partner saying, um, go and gather your abundance since you're not finding it here. It's time. To, it's literally time. Hold on. They're being called by the divine with the rattle. It's literally time to put the past behind and go out on a new adventure right now to go and gather your abundance and gather what you need because you haven't been having it because you feel very scarce in this relationship. Aries, don't get mad at me. I can feel it. You guys are kind of pissed at me right now. <laughs> it's just the truth, guys. I'm sorry. And I know it really hurts. I, I know. Trust me. I know. Um, but this is something that can be very healing for you as well. This is not something that you might look back on and be like, wow, I'm actually really happy that ended. All right. Middle world with the number 36 breaking down to a nine. The middle world is the realm of day to day reality and the playground of the living. It is the present moment where everything is happening. Yet the middle world is created by the future, not only the past, and it is a mirror of the invisible realms. When things are right in the middle world, heaven and earth support everything. When they are not right, heaven and earth must be brought into order as well. The middle world shows up when conditions are favorable for your undertaking. Do not hesitate. Move forward as heaven and earth are smiling upon you. The time is right, so be expedient. The time is right. The time is right. So be expedient, but mindful of not being reckless. The world is your playground, and what would require great effort at any other time can be accomplished with ease right now. Do not try to correct in the earth what needs to be corrected in the heavens. 
The resources to support the change or endeavor you are considering are not readily available to you yet, so it's important to ask for help from the invisible realms, from helpers in the upper world for now, wait. So that last part for the do not try to correct in the earth what needs to be corrected in the heavens, that's if you're feeling um, extra stagnant, but because you're not stagnant anymore, you've made that decision, it is the right time. When you're in as that stagnant place, you gotta wait. But when you come out of that, seize the opportunity. Everything is balanced right now. Everything is in the perfect alignment for you to go on whatever path you're being beckoned to, to go on, to take that time now, the time is right now, to leave the past behind and to go and capture your abundance and what it is that makes you happy. That's literally the advice. Okay, Aries, advice for you. You have an overall energy of the upper world. What is that number? 59, that breaks down to a five. Ooh. <sighs> yeah, I feel like this is about... <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm a little boogery. <laughs> I feel like this is about going to the upper world and the lower world, which you have, to seek out advice. Talk to your guides. Talk to counsel. Talk to people you trust about this to help you get through it. Because I got to be honest, I feel how painful it's going to be for my Aries. <laughs> Sorry. I feel how painful it's going to be for you guys. So I will read you Upper World because I haven't read that one in a long time and they're telling me that I should read it out loud for you. I feel like there's going to be some awesome messages in there for you. So let's read it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, and there's an owl here. Owl is all about intuition. Owl is about knowing. I think some of you already know that this is exactly what needs to happen even though you're resisting it. You know. You might even be getting downloads or having intuitive experiences, some of you, for the very first time. Okay, upper world. Angels, divine helpers, the ancient ones, and all varieties of luminous beings populate the upper world. It is the place where you go to retrieve your destiny and find out who you will become. Discover your great potentials and undreamt of possibilities. It is also the place where the spirits of the dead arrive when they complete their journey to the light. The upper world is calling you to step into your fully realized self. Yeah, this is about finding out who you are. I think you couldn't do that in this relationship. I think you couldn't be yourself. I think you had to... I don't know why I'm getting like adhere, like adhere to rules. Like, I don't know why I'm getting rules. It's like, I just feel like you had to follow a lot of rules that didn't allow you to be who you are or grasp your dreams. Your partner is going for their dreams. It's time you do the same is basically is what this is saying. Clear distractions so that you can move into a higher destiny. Do not fall to the temptation to craft a slightly more improved version of yourself. When you perceive as a problem or an obstacle is in fact, what you perceive, sorry, not you. <laughs> what you perceive as a problem or an obstacle is in fact the irritation you need to take the great leap. Remember, you cannot cross the Grand Canyon in two small steps. It's going to be a lot of work to get there, If you, but Spirit is saying you need to tap into your higher self and it's time you seize your destiny and be who you truly are. Ask your divine helpers for guidance. If the oracle has already spoken to you, then don't ask for more guidance. But if they haven't, then ask. Take what has been offered. Now you must deal with the lethargy and idleness. While support for a new destiny is not yet in place, a new destination is available to you if you act now. Yeah, it's like seek out guidance and help from your guides. Reach your higher um, self. Raise your vibration. Try to find who you are again and what you want and what your desires are and you will find your destiny because it's not here it's not with this person okay so then the three cards you had out lower world the beloved and the heart sky i gotta be honest with you the beloved is a twin flame card for me in this deck i won't read it to you because it's going to be painful but i will read the um because they have it broken down into three sections there's one section that i think will really help you uh, it's the medicine section, so like literally healing, and I think it's about healing from this connection is is what you really need to hear, so I'm going to read only that section for that card, okay? Uh, these are beautiful cards, though. <laughs> and you know what I really love? You see the numbers here? We go from 31 that breaks down to a 4, to the 5, to the 24 that goes to a 6, 4, 5, 6. That's progression. That's progress. That's change. That's adaptability. That's that's awesome. That's that's an amazing sign. This is supposed to happen. And I know as painful it is, as it is, when this happens, this is going to allow you to go on the path that you were supposed to be on in the first place. I feel like this relationship went on for far too long. I think you're supposed to learn something from it, but you stayed in it and it deterred you from your path. And now you can take your path back with the 4 to 5 to the 6 
and with the help of your guides and finding out who you really are. Oh, that's awesome stuff. Okay. I'll read you the lower world. Let's get into it. Mm. Okay. The lower world. The lower world holds the hidden treasures of humanity. It's a place of rich and fruitful darkness where we can find the disowned parts of ourselves and the abandoned aspects of our psyches. The lower world is the place of our ancestors where we discover the gifts and lessons from the past. It is the realm of the collective unconscious. Here, we can meet our demons and transform them into pure energy, our source of personal power. It is time to unearth your hidden treasures. Do not make yourself small in order for others to like or accept you. Bring out the gems and precious stones they have kept inside your heart, hidden even from yourself. It's time to honor your past and recast your life as a heroic quest. As you journey into the lower world, you'll be offered all the gifts of your ancestors. Their struggles, the way they hurt, the way they lived, and the way they died will become blessings. Yeah. Uh, talk to your ancestors. Why not? Go for it. Talk to them. They're there. Trust me. They're there. <laughs> they are there. They're very present. Um, this is also about using light and dark energy. You're going to go through a dark period after this. And that's okay. Like you see the contrast. You're going to go through the dark to get through the light. We all need dark energy and light energy. We all need that perfect balance. Because as great as the light energy is, there is an understanding of pain karmic justice and change and adaptability that you can only get with dark energy that you can't get with light energy that's why you need both okay all right the beloved like i said i i'm only going to read the, the medicine portion because i feel like that's really what you need to hear the other stuff is just going to make you hurt okay because i think you really care about this person a great deal all right be careful with romantic love the kind of love you fall in and out of own all the projections you have placed upon the person you are dreaming of. Remember that they are only mirroring back your own deep longings rather than revealing their true selves. If you fail to notice this, be prepared to walk through the fire of strong emotions once again. Yeah, this relationship just shouldn't have gone on as long as it has. Very plain and simple. You learned something from it and then you stayed. And you didn't get on your path. Yeah, this is only going to be for a few, like... Oh, this is intense, guys. All right, the heart sky, number 24. The heart, the heart of sky is the love force that made all creation possible. The same force is present when you create with originality. When you bring um, formlessness to form or inspired ideas to... Oh, wow, I just got really dark. <laughs> I just got dark. <laughs> um, or inspired ideas to expression, this primeval force does not know good or bad. It's up to you to provide the clear intention that will guide it to manifest. The heart of sky helps us call in beauty from the invisible world and birth it into the world of matter. The heart of sky brings you a, a sacred reminder. Uh, you are a channel for the original energy of creation. Become the paintbrush, the canvas, the artist, all guided by the heart of sky. Set your intention ethically and clearly and allow the universe to take care of the details. You might feel responsible for everything and everyone. Perhaps you think you have to do it alone. This takes you into a dark hole where you lost trust in the uh, natural order of the cosmos. Shed your lofty sense of duty and recognize that this is a false prison of your own making. You can open the door and set yourself free in an instant. Yeah, this is saying find who you are and be creative about it. Be creative about it. Explore um, and set your intentions well and manifest what you want. So after this happens, Aries, get your guidance. Talk to your guides. Talk to your ancestors. I'm also getting with ancestors that there's something about your family history that you need to find out about. I don't know what. I don't know how. Why? I don't know why I'm getting that. But it, like literally, my guides are saying you got to look into your family history. Look into your family history. They keep repeating that, so it must be really important. Aries, look into your family history, okay? And I think as I said that it was thirty-one, thirty-one. But I'm stitching this together, so on this one it was thirty-one, thirty-one. Use that line dark energy. Go through your change. Find yourself and know that as great as this love was in your mind it didn't I, I gotta be honest though there was some awful shit that happened here i think it started out really fun and amazing but there were a lot of false projections placed on each other it's almost like you two couldn't be your true selves and it's saying to not um to be cautious of that moving forward and to recognize that that's what happened here um and then with heart sky it's saying go out and manifest go find out who you are figure out what your dreams are figure out what your desires are heal and then manifest your dreams into reality with good intentions if you have ill intentions it's not going to work out really well for you but that's what it's saying to go manifest your dreams yeah wow oh aries this was intense kind of took a lot out of me 
I'm going to do the Cancer and Pisces, vid Pisces videos again. But, you know, I know this was tough, Aries, but please, you know, accept this for what it is. Because after you do this and heal and find out who you truly are and then put yourself back on your path, you're going to be in a really amazing place. And your partner, they already know they're being called elsewhere and they're seizing the opportunity because their opportunity is now. Like their time is right now. And they're going to go and gather their own abundance elsewhere. Okay, Aries, take it easy, okay? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and check out Patreon and the Facebook page and all that good stuff. But really, guys, try to take it easy and do the healing. Do the work. It'll be worth it. I promise you, doing the work will be worth it, Aries. Don't get mad at me. I mean, this advice is really good advice. It is. And definitely look into your family history. Whoever that resonates with, if you don't know your family history, look into your family history. There's something there. I don't know why, but there's something there that, that's supposed to help you or it's going to like open your eyes to something about this situation. Bye, Aries.